Hey guys, welcome back. This is Emily with Telltale, and today we are going to be talking about one of my all-time favorite books by Winifred, Winifred Watson. Goodness, alliteration there. This is Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day. Um, so Winifred Watson ended up living from like 1906 to 2002. She, really nice long life. Uh, she had tried to get several other like fun quirky books published um prior to miss per miss pettigrew lives for a day and the publishers kept telling her like no we don't want these these are too fun and quirky like we want some drama we want some a little bit more than that and they finally made the exception for uh, miss pettigrew lives for a day because it is a good balance of comedy quirk and f uh fun drama so and a little bit of scandal so uh she kind of took that as a huge victory when she finally had like the third try was the charm and she finally got Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day published. Um, and so she ended up writing two more books after that. And then in 1941, she just, she got married and got pregnant and decided that she wanted to be a full-time mom. So she ended up not writing anymore after 1941, but had a really nice long life and kind of lived to the end of her days being a mother and enjoying her family in Newcastle. Um, so she just has this really ni nice, normal, quiet, womanly life that she chose for herself. And it's it's just a really kind of cute and heartwarming story. She didn't really have a lot of like, I mean, no more tragedy than any other human does. So I like the author because she is a very like normal person. <laughs> She's not a super, you know, huge in the industry kind of gal. And um, Miss Pettigrew Lives for a Day is actually kind of a more, a more unheard of book. It's, it's not like a huge top seller, but I feel like it's really underappreciated. This is a great comedy. It has some really good situational humor, really memorable characters. And Miss Pettigrew herself is just such a charming person. Like she doesn't realize how charming she is, but she's such a charming and interesting person thrown into this very foreign situation. So I just really enjoyed this book. It was a great comedy. Um, there's actually a movie about this that is a little bit different than the book is. So I recommend reading the book first and then, of course, going and seeing the comedy. It features, let me see, it tells me on the back here. It's so nice. Uh, it's a, the st a film starring Frances McDormand, Amy Adams, and Kyron Hins. Um, and it was released in 2008 and is also one of my favorite movies. Um, but it is, of course, different than the book. I'd actually seen the movie prior to seeing the book. So, yeah. The book, to give you a synopsis, is Miss Pettigrew is a governess, and she has a habit of doing more correcting of the parents of those she's governing instead of being a governess to the children. Um, she takes too much matters into her own hands, and parents don't like being criticized for their parenting skills. They're really sick of her, so she has a really hard time holding a job. And she keeps going back to the same uh, employment uh, uh, employment agency to try and like find another job after every instance. And the agency is just so over her. They're so done trying to find her so many jobs. And, you know, it's hard because she's a down-on-her-luck middle-aged governess. Like, she's not a super remarkable person. She's very average. So trying to find her anything that's worth anything is is really difficult for this agency. So they send her off to a new a new person to, uh, she thinks, gov be a governess to. Turns out that is not the case at all. Um, it's a nightclub singer who's looking for a social secretary, and they just kind of throw her into the situation. She misunderstands, thinking she's going to be a governess to someone, but it ends up being a nightclub singer. And Miss Pettigrew herself is the daughter of a clergyman, so she is not used to nightlife entertainment industry, um, especially since the gal that she's with is one a really famous singer in town and two really big social climber like she sleeps around she's very promiscuous she has a bunch of men who are after her and is just trying to figure out which one she likes more and who's using her and who's not and miss of course pettigrew is uh very keen on all of that and realizes who the you know diamond in the rough is and who isn't so it's just like this 24 hours of this whirlwind of being introduced to the uh 
to the basically the the dark side of the entertainment industry as she's helping this nightclub singer uh social climb and she has absolutely no idea what she's doing but everyone loves what a straight shooter she is and like how charming she is and how like matter of fact she is that absolutely no one thinks that she's not a social secretary so they just think she's been in the industry forever and they just adjust to that and just they they absolutely adore her including later a uh, particular man who is also high in the echelon of the fashion industry um and he kind of starts warming up to her and they have a little little 20 little love affair thing starting so they uh there's a little bit of a romance in there that's really really cute it's it's kind of a blip on the radar so it isn't a majority of the story but it's just kind of funny how this unremarkable person gets thrown into these remarkable circumstances and suddenly becomes a somebody um, and finds love and just has this whirlwind of a crazy 24 hours that just changes her life forever. Um, so she gets to live for a full 24 hours and just have this high life situation and just, ah, oh, the action in this book and progression are so quick and witty and funny. Lots of great situational humor, lots of very memorable characters, lots of very sleazy characters that are really kind of fun to pick apart. Um, and just the social situations of how she, like, fakes it till she makes it kind of thing, trying to keep her job, is really, really funny. Um, especially being such a conservative woman, um, especially a middle-aged conservative woman, because they say, like, psychologically, you're kind of who you are by the time you hit 30-ish. Um, you don't have a lot of stuff that changes, so to, like, see her world flipped upside down and see how she reacts to it and see how she develops as a person because of these situations is really, really fun. Um, so it's just really funny because you've got all these like witty misunderstandings and like she's just being herself but also trying to not be herself like she really doesn't do anything that's not out of character but everyone is so used to people having angles they find her really refreshing um and it's just i love the synopsis in the back of it i gotta read this a delightful, intelligent, and naughty novel, which reminds us that it is never too late to live. And that really sums up this book really, really well. This is a fun, quirky, some semi-romantic comedy that is so underappreciated. And I really like this particular volume as well. This is a Persephone classic. And Persephone um, classic books are kind of underappreciated female writers for the most part uh they kind of do a little bit of everything they um they tend to lean towards like 20th century books memoirs um short stories cookery books and they try to focus more on female writers and they're not too literary or commercial like that's part of their branding um they like really thought-provoking books and things that are kind of impossible impossible to forget as they say in their own personal synopsis of their branding um they did a really nice job with this i like the cover it's not a hard cover but it's a really sturdy soft cover book it's got these nice little flippies i love the uh little illustration on the interior my husband gave this to me so he wrote me a cute little love note uh, it's actually a quote from the movie. It says, I've been looking for you all night, and I believe all my life, if you'll have me. So that's a quote from the movie, but my husband put that in there as a uh, little thing. He got this for me when we were dating, so it's super sentimental. Sorry to get all, like, wishy-washy on you for a second, but this is just a really great book. And I also highly recommend the movie. <laughs> it's phenomenal. Um, it has a little bit more artistic license that it takes, but it still has great sentiment that is very similar to the book um the synopsis is very close but not super spot on they have a little bit more of a dramatic thing like they involve world war ii and all those kinds of things so you kind of get a little bit more drama because of the war happening and all that other stuff so it's uh it's a really really good movie really great book highly recommend it if you like this feel free to leave me a comment um i really 
for female literature, this, this is like top tier for me. I really enjoy this one. So I highly recommend it. This is one of my all time favorite stories, movie or book wise. Have a gander at it guys. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.